What's up everyone? How are you all doing? Welcome back for another awesome Fortnite video. Today we're going to be playing some solo squads guys and just a quick spoiler alert we actually do obtain a new personal best when it comes to high eliminations or most eliminations in squads gameplay. Now Watch until the end to find out exactly how all of these eliminations went and I will be sharing just tips and advice on step by step, you know, decision making and what to do and how to obtain these high eliminations games yourself guys. So here we go, we're going to be landing, landing at Risky Reels. The bus route did come over at Risky Reels and I love landing here, one because it is a location where a lot of people come to and two because there are rifts close by. This opponent does manage to escape my grasp. I'll take one mini and go ahead and take my opportunity at uh, downing another opponent that was just standing still. So you wanna take these free pickings guys and it's really crucial when taking on a squad to eliminate one or two opponents right off the bat as soon as possible because then that way instead of versing four different opponents you'll be versing you know two um so it, it really does increase your chances by a lot this player here on the left does manage to hit me once with with a sniper shot i'll go ahead and take the one extra mini that i had i'm looking pretty weak so i have to be really careful here um, I have a feeling that this player to my left only has a sniper, so I'm not too worried about rushing him. Unfortunately, I did get hit by a rocket uh, over here from the backside, and so I'm extremely weak now. I do try to farm some mats as well, and I do hear this opponent to my left. Uh, luckily enough, I do have a scar now, which is going to allow me to secure some kills here fairly easily as you guys can see that's two more eliminations ever since i picked up the scar and now i'm using this wall here for cover i know that to my back back end here people don't normally uh land so i'm not too concerned about my back end and i'm just mostly paying attention to what might be going on inside of risky reels it's important uh it's really important when going for these high kill games not to waste time guys I could be wasting time looking at what might be behind me, etc. But the truth of the matter is that, you know, if I want these high kill games, I got to get lucky to a certain extent. This team did rift over me and they had no clue because I was behind this tree. Uh, I do hear a t uh, an enemy to my left there, so I quickly take him out. Landing these headshots is absolutely crucial, as you guys can see. Just gives the opponent absolutely no time to react guys um i'm fairly you know certain that there is no one left here at risky just because uh after i did kill that guy he fully limbed right away and i got all of my you know eliminations from the people that i had knocked so at the moment we are at six eliminations guys and we are gonna go ahead and push out towards tomato temple where i can find a rift rift is extremely important for you to just move you know around the map as fast as possible and use this to try to find even more opponents and then obtain like high ground i do spot opponents here moving towards dusty from you know tomato temples tunnel and so i'm gonna go ahead and land close to them but in an area where i'm gonna have high ground keep in mind this is not solos it's not duos it's squads so i need to at least give myself the advantage of positioning uh, trying to knock or damage one of these guys you know right off the bat is extremely uh important unfortunately i do miss my hunting rifle shots but i am, am able to land a couple of headshots with the scar allowing me to knock one of them out and then i do get a hunting rifle headshot so now it's a 2v1 situation i don't want to give them time to go ahead and revive so i'm gonna go for the push here guys um and this is gonna make it so that even if they manage to revive one or even both of their teammates i know that you know their teammates are not gonna have enough time to heal or to find fight back Landing <laughs> yet another headshot guys i knock what i believe is the third player 
and now I do eliminate you know the one that was trying to revive and there's they're still not all limb so that you know just told me that there was one more guy alive and I do manage to get him with a pump shotgun this team was not the best and keep in mind guys when trying to go for a high kill game especially solo squads you're going you know alone against the team of four you cannot expect to go against the team of pros or just people that really are really good at the game or know what they're doing and come out successful okay that's just unreal guys yes sure you know if you're an insane player you're gonna be able to win these fights here and there but um for the most part, it's it's really not easy, and if you want a really high kill game, you just gotta keep practicing this and keep trying until eventually, you know, everything just goes your way and whatnot. And just just play your best, guys. It's a huge practice, and this is what I what I'm doing in this game and every other solo squad games that I do win. I do want to play these more. I feel like I have the potential of, you know, surpassing, you know, my highest score. Um, I don't play these enough. So I am going to look to play these more and eventually bring you guys even more, you know, tips as I learn them. Uh, one thing that I did mention on the previous video uh, that was actually solo duos, I told you guys about isolating your opponents. If you keep, you know, if you really keep close attention here you'll see that I never really exposed myself to more than like one opponent and so I really isolated one of them took him out and now I you know only have to worry about a 1v1 here because you know from the get-go I only saw two members of this team I'm quickly listening here to you know his footsteps it seems like he's going to try to go for the revive I just found them he really was trying to go for the revive and they both dropped down I'm looking for him and um, I just realized that he was actually still right there on top of me but I am able to outsmart him going from you know he he did uh, in my opinion not a very smart play he didn't keep high ground and I hid using my right peak which is another advice that I have for you guys always try to have the right peak always try to position yourself so that you're going to engage your opponents you know while having to peek to your right side um so here i see two guys running across the river here from tilted towers i have the true high ground i'm gonna look to go ahead and weaken one of them or you know get a headshot on one of them with the hunting rifle i do manage to land the shot he did have shields but now I know that he is not at 200 HP at least. And this greatly helps me out. You know, if I had to fight these guys, if I allowed them to spot me without me, you know, dealing a single, you know, bit of damage, that wouldn't be very good on my, you know, my side of things. Um, they do kind of split here. One guy stays back, the other one pushes to the left. And this is what I'm talking about isolating. I'm only worrying about one guy. You know, I managed to knock him with the hunting rifle headshot, and now I only have this other guy to worry about. And at the same time, I spot this other team all the way across, fighting this one guy that I was initially, you know, concerned about. But now I'm gonna allow him to survive, and I'm gonna try to inch away here and just try to, you know, do as much damage as possible to this other team, knowing that they're at least a team of three. I'm not very concerned about this other guy. He literally just left his teammate behind after I knocked him. So why would I be concerned about a player like that that's clearly, by what I've seen so far, not the best player out there when I have another team of three or four? Unfortunately, he does end up pushing back towards me and I'm forced to knock him without, you know, against my will because I didn't want him shooting at me and potentially taking away the little bit of you know shields that i have that would only make my next fight even harder against this team of three so because i know i'm going against a team of three or more i do go for an even higher you know high ground i do manage to get a shot off on that guy with the hunting rifle and the ar unfortunately i didn't get to eliminate him and the other team did so 
Um, that would have been one more kill, you know, to, to the count. And that would have made my personal record even higher. But it's just things that happen. It's like I told you guys, you know, you have to, to do these over and over again. And just, you know, hope that one day everything goes your way for the highest, you know, kill count possible. It's harder and harder to find noobs now in the game, guys. Mostly everyone already knows what they're doing. And, um, you know, with playground mode out, like everyone knows how to build. So the game becomes, you know, harder and harder to go for these 20 plus, you know, kill games. After taking out that player with the hunting rifle, I decided to full eliminate him because I know this team has the numbers. And so if I allowed him to survive, they were going to build and they were going to revive. Um, this is the end game. Mostly, you know, for the most part towards the end game, the players know what they're doing. And so I would have a hard time pushing up. Like they would be able to revive and shoot back at me with the other players that they would have, you know, and that player would most likely get revived. Once they see that they used a rift to go here, I know that there's a high chance that they're going to push the high ground right behind me. And so I quickly build, unfortunately I get stuck here because of that tree, but I build as fast as possible. I double ramp here to try to protect myself from the high ground because I did see that one of them had already made it up there. I'm not sure why this opponent decided to go downhill, but that actually works in my favor because it's one less guy I have to worry about. I'm able to actually knock this one out of his structure. And so this leaves only one or two more opponents for me to worry about. You know, he's in a really tough situation and I have absolute high ground on him and I don't plan on giving away my high ground. There would be no reason to. His opponents that are knocked are behind me and so all pressure is on him right now. And um, I'm just chipping away damage on him as much as possible. Now that I know that I hit him for white and he's, you know, under like 70 HP, I'm gonna go ahead and chase a little bit while still maintaining high ground. I do manage to, you know, finish him off with the pump. Uh, I decide not to go for his loot because that's just way too much of a low ground. After killing him, I saw that I fully limbed him. So there's only one more opponent for me to worry about. I quickly go back to high ground, uh, you know, because I want to just make sure that I'm not getting pushed up on. And so after I see that he's not, you know, really around this mountain and he's not up, on top of this mountain and he hasn't pushed me i'm confident enough to actually go down for you know loot i find this chug jug i'm gonna go ahead and pop it for the extra 50 you never know last player might be an actual good player so i do go for that chug jug and this is actually gonna be crucial and you'll see why in a little bit i do you know position myself to take the chug jug in a way where i can also use the third person view to look around the map and spot this opponent which I do and he does you know he is a pretty good player because as you'll be able to see here he you know pre uh, emptively shoots grenades towards where he thinks that I will go and um, this does a lot of damage to me once I see that he's trying to ramp up on me I quickly stop guys taking my mini shields to you know prevent him from actually getting high ground on me so I knock him down for some fall damage and then I'm able to secure the victory here with the drum gun, guys. Um, that is a 19 kill game, guys. And that is now our new solo squads record. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to leave a like if you did. It really does help out the channel. Share your comments down below. I do my very best to read and answer every single one of them. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications to not miss a single upload.